Hello! Hello, hello, and welcome to some more Grim Fandango. Um, I hope everyone's having a great day. Um, especially during this troubling time, if we put it, pull it mildly. Uh, yeah. I love this game. I'm glad I'm, I'm playing it again. And I hope you're enjoying the playthrough. And I'm going to continue through the Petrified Forest. Last time, we joined the Viva la Revolution with uh, Salvador and Ava. Who's not actually a secretary? She's uh, in disguise, and we know that our um, our employers are corrupt. They're corrupt assholes. What can we say? So let's make our way through the petrified. Oh. Here he is. <laughs> what are you doing? God is my friend. Why are you crying? Maddie. Oh, Maddie. Maddie. Fired me. <laughs> they did not. Me too, buddy. You don't understand, Maddie. I was created just to do that job. It's the only thing that makes me happy. It's like they reached into my chest and pulled out my heart and threw it into the woods to... Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> He's killed Gladys, over and died. What have you done? What do you mean? He literally just... Oh, Gladys. Oh. Oh, what? Ew! Spiders with wings is not a good combo. Apparently, if you rip out your own heart, you fall asleep. Don't try that at home. Don't try that at home. What's this? This signpost seems to be pointing the way to Rubacava. Rubacava? Can I pick it up? Oh my god, I can! No, I can't. It's too well anchored. Too well anchored. Can we do anything with this dude? Wake up, buddy. Let's go get his heart back. The man just ripped it out of his chest. Oh no. Ooh, ick. Oh. Shoot. Can we do anything with that? Oh, they're everywhere. Can I grab it? Probably not. Uh, it's stuck in there good. Damn. What's this? Some bones. It's an ugly pile of bones, like me. I guess I could always use a spare. Can we jab it out with a bone? Soup's oh. On. Huh. They don't seem very interested in that bone I put in there. No, they don't. Can I grab another bone? Yeah, I can. Can I do it again, or is that not going to work? There's already a bone in there. Okay, let's put that away. Can we do anything with the bone, though? The bone zone. Uh, it's stuck in no. there good. We, do we have anything on us? We've got our scythe. We've got... Oh, we still got the fire extinguisher. Can the fire extinguisher, like... I don't know, burn the web? That's not on fire. Ready? That's not on fire. <laughs> fire out. What else? Maybe the scythe? We can... We can cut the web? I'm gonna remember how to get this thing out. Oh! Oh, he's using the bone. Oh! Oh, four spiders. No more demon heart to eat. Where did it go? That just caused another problem, man. You didn't solve the issue. <laughs> Where'd his heart go? Oh, here it is. Well, that's a convenient toss. How did it get here? It's still beating. It is still beating. It's gross. Whack it back in like a like he's a car. Oh, heart, heart is good. Be good to heart. Don't tear out heart. Heart is good, strong, beating good heart. <laughs> is that my car? Is is that my car? God, he's great. Ooh, Mr. Lamont, I assure you, the missing woman will be found. I will personally track her down myself. Just like you personally picked her up from the land of the living. That was my intention, but Agent Calavera somehow got to her first. We gave you the fastest car, Domino. We gave you all the best clients. You had all the advantages. So how was this Calavera able to sneak in there and eat your lunch? Oh, now, Hector, you can't get too mad at Domino. That wasn't his fault. Oh, I can, Don. You should know I can get too mad. 
but not at Domino. After all, he wasn't in charge of this operation. At least, not until now. Oh! Oh! He sprouted him! <laughs> Funny. For some reason, I was expecting tulips. Well, maybe Mr. Calavera, eh, Domino? Why don't you personally go down to the basement and escort him up here? The sooner he sprouted, already too late. Back to business, the better. That guy's. I thought you'd never ask. That would have been evil, um, Fez man that Ava was talking about. And then Salvador sort of like stuck his head out the side, and he's like, "Ooh, <laughs> I wonder who he is." Oh, sorry. Oh, that's a horrible noise game. What is going on here? I've hopped out. What is that? Híjole, mano. What sort of unholy Christmas tree farm is this, Gladys? Gladys? Manny, check out this wheelbarrow, will ya? With a couple of ATV nubby tires on the back and a two-stroke lawnmower engine, we could make one sweet go-kart. Hmm. Random of you to say that. Switches up. Switch it off. Ooh, careful, Manny! With the harmonic balancer turned off, those pumps might shake that tree apart. Oh, but... Oh! If we shook the tree down, those pumps would dislodge, and I could make high-lift shocks out of them for the bone wagon! Hold Hi, on. Uh, I'm going to unbalance that wheel with some of these weights. That'll shake it down for sure. Where are you going? He's not going to climb that thing, is he? Oh, he is. How did you okay, do that? Just give me a second to balance these doggies. So what if I turn it on now? Switch is down. Hey, Manny! <laughs> Hold on! Out of the entertainment value, that didn't do what I had hoped. Hold on! So I, I think we can use this to block some of the pipes. There we go. Let's do the one at the end first. Uh, ding, dong, dong. There we go. Oh, that's annoying. Ding, dang, dong. There we go. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. Now it's shaking equally on both sides. Is it going to fly up? What's happening? Yes! Oh! There we go. Thanks for helping us out, Glottis. <laughs> until now we scraped along the ground like rats. But from now on we saw Like eagles. <laughs> like eagles on... Pogo sticks. Can eagles use pogo sticks, Clovis? I don't think that's. Oh, there we go. What a relief! I was getting concerned that our transportation wasn't ostentatious. <laughs> Get in, or are you afraid of heights? Jeez, it's quite the beast machine you've made there. So we can go up. Ooh. We can go up this way now, correct? Yes. A room, indeed. What's this? There's a big old padlock on this outer gate. Can we do I couldn't anything? take that off with my bare hands. If only I hadn't thrown away that little hand exerciser Domino got me for Secret Santa. Hand exerciser? What's in here? Manny! What are you doing? Don't you know what's on the other side of that gate? No. Nope. Yeah, the way out of the forest. Demon beavers, Manny! They'll make you into a dam. Relax, Geppetto. I'm not made of wood. But Manny, they don't use wood. They use bones. Oh! Demon beavers. Don't keep walking. Oh, God, look at that thing. Oh, that looks horrible. Ah! Yeah, let's not go back in there. <laughs> we'll wait. 
we'll wait before we do that. Okay, let's get in. I'm thinking the next project should be wings. Oh God, no, we don't need a flying Come car. On, Mattis. Let's crash through this gate and drive right over those little monsters. Mm, no way, Manny. Oh, those flaming bone beavers are mean. They bite, they claw, and if one of them wrapped around my drive shaft, I'd be picking flaming hunks of fur out of my U joint for months. I'm not going down there until you get okay. rid of them. So we've got to somehow get rid of the beavers. Um, oh my god, this thing is insane! What's this? Where are we? So we're just gonna keep going around in circles, aren't we? Yeah. Okay, I think I remember what we have to do here. Pretty sure we have to grab that sign we dinked up earlier. Come on, keep driving. Um, no. How do I exit? How do I exit the vehicle? Use. Okay. There we go. So now I can pick up this because it's been dislodged. And I can take it. I can't get out of, I can't get past. There we go. I can take it back to this place. <laughs> He's having his good old time there. And we can place it somewhere in here, and it should point us to a secret location, which is weird as hell, I know. Place it in the ground, and it will point to where we need to place it next. Which is this way. So pick up. And then move this way a bit. And then place it again. Hello? Oh, I think it might have worked already. Nice. Down. Yes! Secret location! Loteria. Don't need the car for that. I probably do. Let's go back and get the car. As it might even be quicker just to walk, but I'm going to get the car. <laughs> He's just chatting to himself. Alright, hop in. Oh god, this might take a while. Manny, hurry up! Manny, hurry up! Where are you going, Manny? Get inside! What is he doing? He's just walking around in circles! Manny! What are you doing? What the f what the fuck? I can't get in my vehicle. Why? Oh god, why? Game, why? Whatever. I'm running now. That's... that's ridiculous. Why wouldn't it let me drive? It's annoying as hell. Maybe I was supposed to just run down here anyway. Ooh. I can't run. Where am I? There we go. There I am. Hello. Looks like some sort of warning sign. They'll tear you apart bone by bone and build with you a human throne. Their bucktooth king will sit upon what once was you, but now is gone. Jeez. This key unlocks the gates of hell. Steady traveler, use it well. Okay. And we've got it. Can't pass up an old creepy key. Nope. There we go. Creepy key stored away for later. Okay, we're gonna head back to Glortis. 
Hopefully we can get in our car now. Maybe that was just a glitch because we weren't supposed to get in there yet. He was just walking back and forth though. Come on, Manny. Run, run, run. Manny. Come on, Manny. Don't disappoint me, Manny. Get in your car. Get in. That just, that just, that just blows me away. What are you doing? I might have to come back. I might, I might have to do a quick cut here. Yikes! I'll see if I can get this fixed. Okay, I managed to get back into the car. It was, it was glitchy as hell, but I'm in. And we're ready to drive off. I'm back. God, you gotta love glitches. <laughs> we're back to Beaverland. Beaver Las Vegas. Um, we need... Oh, we need the key. Fire extinguisher, bone, key. Uh, select. With those monsters on the other side, I'm happy with this thing locked. Oh, okay, so we don't use that yet. Doesn't do much by itself. Can we go back through here, then? We have to get rid of these monsters somehow. Um, can we pick up some bones, quickly? Yes, put that away. We need to distract them because they like bones, so let's pick up some bones, put them away. How many can I pick up? A few? Yeah. Alright, and let's go down this little side entrance here. So let's throw out a bone. Use. Throw the bone. And then quickly get out our quick a fire extinguisher use and time it. Got him! Yes! Take that. So now we're gonna do it again with another one. Lure him in with a bone. Use, throw it in the water. That's not water. It's black goo, let's be real. Whoa. I did a trippy little stunt job there. Uh, fire extinguisher. Um, and we have to get ready, get ready. Jump, Mr. Beaver, jump. Now. Good timing, good timing. Alright. Now, here comes the last one. The final beaver. Uh, what am I doing again? I've completely blanked out. I need a bone. Throw it into the black goo. Whoa, it does look... <laughs> it completely spazzes out. I love it. Where is our fire extinguisher? Get ready, get ready, get ready. Come on, beaver. Gotcha. I almost thought it was a bit early there, but I was, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Alright, cool. Put that away. And let's go back up to Glotis. Yes, we've cleared all the beavers out. Very nice. Now we can unlock this bad boy. This outer gate is huge. I'll need Glotis to open it. Oh. Manny, I don't know if I like driving over people. They can't feel it, they're dead. <laughs> you are dead, I wouldn't want to drive over you. That's because you and I, Gladys, are friends. Aww. Aww Manny. That's nice. Oh my god, my eyes. <laughs> what is the giant cucumber? Asleep. But I want a drag race. When they get a load of my car, we're gonna be the talk of the town. <laughs> right. We're gonna have to find a good place to hide that road show. Speaking of hiding, I wonder if Mitch is here already. I'm gonna go see what I can stir up. Not a bad piece of real estate, actually. It's got potential. Oh. I think from memory we do deck out the place, if I do recall. What are you doing? 
Okay, we've arrived at Rubacabra, which is very cool. Um, let's try and find out what we're doing here. Where am I going? Oh my god! <laughs> I was... We're going to see Captain here with us. He's rescued us. Thank you, sir. He's walking a bit, sort of... You gotta watch your step around here, stranger. Rubicabi ain't the quaint little port town she used to be. Well, hell, looks like there's a new vessel in town. That's Pardon right. Me whilst I go check her out. Thanks for the rescue, though. How did he get up here so quickly? We fell a long way. Get up, Manny. Dust it off. I reckon he's... Could he be cold? Can he feel... Can you feel cold? Well, actually, it's mostly stock with a few mods here and there. So, would those be glass packs I'm hearing or turbos? Let's have there a chat was this one high-pitched whine it was making. Really grating noise, you know? And I searched and searched, but I couldn't find the source of the noise until we pulled in here. Was it the blower? No, it was Manny screaming in the back like a cat. <laughs> 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 That's a good That's pretty oh, funny. Yeah. Hey Manny, Doc Master Velasco here says he's got a place we can dry dock the bone wagon for a while. Oh yeah. We can't leave a beauty like this out in the fog or her chrome will get pitted. Pitted? Did you hear that? Pitted? Are you folks gonna stay in Rubicava for a spell? I believe so. We're looking for Mercedes Colomar. We're here looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. I'm not too good with names. Did she have any distinguishing marks for a tattoo? Not that she showed me. Well, like I said, I'm as good with names as you are with the fog. <laughs> <laughs> we walked off the edge. Um, yeah, is there any work? I might be here a while. Is there any work in this town? Well, there's lots of work down at the docks. But it's all union work. <laughs> and I just don't see you in that union. <laughs> Making some jokes at me. I can take it on. How do you get around here with all the mist? Well, uh, when you've strolled these docks as long as I have, Pilgrim, Pilgrim. you know where you are by the smell of the sea, by the sound of the lonely foghorn, by the icy touch of the cold, salty air. Wow. Manny, could I have an eye patch? <laughs> no. Um, what is under that eye patch? Can I just ask, what is under the eye patch? Because I know it's not an eye. Oh, well, when I was alive, I had an eye patch like this. This one's just for the phantom pain. And that one eye socket used to scream like a banshee when the trade winds blew, so I plugged her. Hey, Manny, we were in the middle of a conversation oh, I... here. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, jeez. Settle down. We're all good. I like our little outfit we've got on. He's chatting away, but he's not. There's not. He's not making any sound. It's like suddenly they turned into mimes to hide their conversation from me. It's a little bit weird. All right, let's go up. Hello, who's in here? I wonder. Ooh. Oh my goodness me, Celso. Mr. Flores, I'm ready to take you now. Manny Calavera, is that you? Didn't you used to be taller? <laughs> True, I was, I was not wearing my stilts. I'm here to reclaim that walking stick. I broke it over the head of some hideous monsters in the forest. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm looking for uh, Mercedes I'm Colomar. Looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. Well, no one's come through town by that name, and you can take it from me. I too am looking for someone, so I watch the comings and goings around here very carefully. Fair enough. I wonder who. Yeah, who are you looking for? Who are you looking for? Well, if you must know, it's about my wife. I got word that she passed away not long after I, and that she too was crossing the land of the dead on foot. It oh. is said that all lost souls come to Rubacava, so I came here to wait for her. That's a good idea. You must love her very much. You must love her very much, also. Yes, this is true. Of course, she also has all of my money. <laughs> He's waiting for her. I love that. So that's why maybe it was true that he did have no package. Because all of his money went to his wife when he died first. So then once she's now died, she has everything. Which is, I kind of like the idea that he has to wait for her. 
That's true. How do you know your wife hasn't gone ahead of you? Oh, Manny. If she had arrived here first, surely she would have waited for me. You don't know. You don't know that. Yeah, what'd she look I'll like? I'll help you find your wife. What did she look like? Oh, here. I got this from the DOD and made copies to hand out. Isn't she something? She must have been beautiful with skin. Weren't we all? That's not very fair. Although our head is very long. I wonder what we looked like when we were human. We probably looked pretty weird. Um, yeah. So, know a good place to stay in town? What's your price range? Somewhere around the high end of nothing. Then maybe, young man, it's time you started thinking about a job. Okay, can you get me a job here? Can you get me a job here? Have any skills? Sales. Well, that does qualify you for a certain position, but we only have one mop. I'm sorry, Manuel. I've got to get this place ready to open. Right. I'll let you know if I see your wife. She'll be the one asking for her beloved Celso. Okay. Can I talk Are to you, you about sure anything else? I can't sleep in the back. There's only room for one. Okay, well, we've extended the conversation from him. What did we get from him? Let's have a look. We've got a picture of his wife, I believe. There we go. It's Celso's wife. Actually, I don't think skin would help. <laughs> oh, God. I love how when he's talking to characters, he puts on this sort of the salesman approach of like being really nice and kind. And then as soon as it's just the, you know, the player and him, he, he let us know what he really thinks. <laughs> I fucking love it. Um, oh, maybe because this guy's bad with names, remember, but we can maybe show him a picture of his wife. Uh, use. See if he remembers her coming through. Ever seen this woman? Oh, if this is the woman you're looking for, take my advice. Forget about her. She sailed out of here weeks ago in a cozy portside cabin built for two. Oh! And she wasn't alone. Jeez. How do you know she sailed out of here? I don't believe it. How do you know she sailed out of here? I don't believe it. That's a tough break, Junior. But you gotta face it. Here, look it up in my port log if you want it in writing. Six weeks ago on a Tuesday. Ticket for two, paid in full. Wow, she dumped him. I cracked the champagne on the bow myself. Hey, Manny. We <laughs> were in the middle of a conversation here. Settle down, hey, Manny. Hey, okay. Not Manny. Look, Glottis. I know how you feel, son. Once I lost a very special lady myself. I waved to her from the docks as she sailed out of port. And I never saw her again. That's quite what sad. What was her name? The SS La Mancha was her name. <laughs> but don't make me talk about her, because I... I just can't do it. I love it. We thought he was talking about a girl, but he's talking about a boat. I love it. All right. So now we've got evidence that his wife ditched him a couple of weeks ago, so we can get him to carry on. Here we go. I'm sorry, Celso. Sorry to bring you the bad news. Do I have his captain's log in my thing? Yeah, I do. Uh, use and give it to you. Celso, your wife sailed out of here two months ago with another man. You gonna stop mopping anytime it's soon? <laughs> oh, Manny, is there a greater constant in nature than the treachery of women? Forget about her, Celso. Have you forgotten yours? I'm going after her. You take over my job here. This mop at least will never let you down. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy too. Oh my God! Nice reference. Nice callback. And then we mop. Hot dishes. Nice. Cool, so we've made it to Rubacabra. We've got a job now. And I believe we stay here for quite some time. Yeah. That's year one of the... F the, the game is set into four years and that was uh, the first year of the game. You gonna come downstairs? I got a customer asking for you. You know I don't like to mingle with the customers. Well, you may want to mingle with this one. Why is that? It sounds like your type. Oh. I don't know what she means by that. Okay. Well, looks like a quiet night in old Rubacaba. Wow. So now, we're a big old casino owner, I believe. And we've done quite well for ourselves in the year here after being the mop. The mop man. 
taken over from Celso, which is very cool. Um, I might end this here. I might end this here, actually. Yeah, why not? We've finished um, the first year of the game. So we've been the salesman. We found out that our company's corrupt. Our, our ex-boss is now dead. He's been sprouted. Um, which is what happens when you die in the 8th Underworld. Which is a really cool concept, I guess. And you have, like, unique flowers for your character as well, which is kind of cool. Manny's just begun smoking as well. You shouldn't smoke, kids. You shouldn't. Um, and then, during the Resistance, we helped them get some eggs and an impression of our teeth. And now we've headed off to find Meche. Who hopefully comes through. Who hasn't, though, obviously, for a year. But we'll find her. I have faith. So if you happen to catch this, let me know what you thought. Um, subscribe, like, all that good stuff if you're new. And, um, a good me!